more support in the hiring of older workers and the push for digitalization. These requests are high on the wish list of small and medium-sized enterprises for the upcoming budget. Now, this comes as the Singapore Business Federation says that companies aren't expecting a bump a year, even as Singapore's economic growth is predicted to pick up. Brandon Tanoto with more. The costs of retaining and training older workers, which could include healthcare fees such as insurance and medical leave, is a key concern businesses have, as the retirement and re-employment ages for these workers will be raised gradually over 10 years. To this end, SBF is proposing for the special employment credit to extend beyond December. The existing scheme provides subsidies of up to 11% of older employees' monthly wages as the increase in CPF contribution rates will also impact business costs. SBF is also calling for the temporary employment credit to be reintroduced to cushion the impact whenever the CPF contribution rates rise. Various things are still in a flux over the next uh, seven, eight years, and that will be the transition phase. So it's very important that as we uh, look at some of the longer-term permanent levers, that we don't uh, cut short some of the short-term levers first, so that as a, as a collective, we have time to transit and transit smoothly. The government is aware of these cost pressures. Trade and Industry Minister Chan Chun Singh had recently gave the assurance that there will be measures to upskill and reskill workers in their 40s and 50s to support their lifelong learning and employability journey. As Singapore restructures its economy, firms are recognizing the importance of business transformation and the need to embrace it in order to stay relevant, according to a recent SBF survey. While SBF has proposed measures like a one-stop digital trade platform to help companies buy and sell products online and financial incentives like a research expenditure rebate, one expert says most SMEs are still focused on staying afloat for now. Their main consideration is survival. Right, and make sure the business, especially in the current uncertain economic climate, to tide over this difficult period and to protect the jobs of their employees. They are looking at really cash flow as a key concern. How could they ensure that they have enough cash flow to sustain them such that they can then go on to consider either digitalization or expansion of their businesses to further broaden their business model. With cybersecurity risks as a top barrier to technology adoption alongside costs, SMEs have expressed their need for help in navigating cybersecurity requirements as well as obtaining the right solutions. And that is why SBF has proposed a cybersecurity program to provide SMEs with training and assistance on this front.